What's up everyone, we're here at Pure Mixed Martial Arts. I want to just go over some uh, basic techniques that might help you out in your everyday training. Today we're just going to start with some side control. I got my man here, Joey the Lizard. So I know this is no gi, but this applies for the gi as well. Okay, so we're just going to start with our basic side control, okay, connecting our hands. And something that I always like to emphasize is creating pressure on our partner. So I like to put my two fingers, the middle fingers here in the armpit, and then I pull my elbow towards my hip which creates a lot of pressure on our partner's face here, okay? So again, I can stay tight, stay low, my knee is connected to his hip, my elbow is connected to his hip, and I'm gonna pull him in, creating some pressure on his face. A lot of times what this causes for our partner is a reaction. They don't like it, they start to push away with this form, which is what we want, okay? I'm gonna show a few options, but for right now, we're just gonna stick with, the, uh, with what I call the mousetrap series. So as he goes to push, I'm just gonna bring my elbow up towards my body and I'm gonna to start to push his elbow towards the mat. Once I've got his elbow towards the mat, I can slide my hand up the wrist and then use my body weight to pin it to the mat here. Okay, so again, I'm in side control. I'm gonna create a little pressure on his face which will hopefully cause just a little bit of a reaction from our partner. From here, my hand goes to the elbow. I'm gonna push it towards the mat, slide my hand up to the wrist and pin this towards the mat. I like to switch here, connecting my hand onto his wrist. So again, I'm gonna push, get to the side here, and I'm gonna make my grip on the, on the wrist here. From here, I can feed my hand underneath, right flat, because I wanna squeeze underneath his tricep and connect my wrist. I can move my elbow around his head here, and then I'm gonna bring everything in. This is a mistake a lot of people make. They'll bring their weight over here, which allows our partner's hips and bottom half to move. So I'm gonna connect everything by bringing him in tight here. From here, the way we finish is we want to kind of paint the ground with his hand being the end of a paintbrush, okay? Common, common way that people explain it. I'm going to bring his elbow towards his hip here first, and then I'm going to start to lift up for the tap. So ideally, without his hand here, just so we could see the motion, I'm painting the ground with the paintbrush, lifting for the finish, okay? So again, once we've got this connected, bringing my elbow, which is already super tight, towards his hip, and then I'm going to lift up for the tap. I'm just gonna run through that one more time. We're in side control, two fingers in the armpit, my elbow's connected to his uh, hip here, my knee's connected to his other hip. I'm gonna pull my elbow, creating pressure, causing that reaction for him to push away. As he pushes, I'm gonna pin his elbow to the mat, slide my hand up the wrist, pin this towards the ground. From here, I can make my transition pretty easily to my other wrist, feed my hand straight through, loop my elbow around, and then we finish with our, with our, uh, our mechanics here. Remember, pull your elbow towards his hip, cinch everything in, paint the ground for the tap, okay? Now, right from here, there's usually some reactions. They don't like this, right? As soon as I start coming down, they wanna extend the arm up. We're gonna capitalize on that movement with very little movement from us. So as he goes to extend, I let him, and I'm gonna slide this wrist, if you can see that, come back to me. We're gonna slide my hand from my wrist to my bicep here, okay? And this gives us a very basic straight arm bar. I make a slight adjustment with my elbow so that my arm is aligned right behind his elbow and I'm going to start to push down for the tap here. Again, this is the fulcrum so we have to keep this very strong and I try to get to the end of the lever here as high up on the wrist as possible to finish. If you're struggling, like you don't feel strong enough, maybe he starts to bicep curl and you can't finish here, I like to step over the knee, step over the head and finish with my head on the mat. Again, I'll turn the angle a little bit for me. <clears throat> We've gotten, we started with the Americana. He goes to straighten out. We can finish right here with a simple tap. I can bring my knee over. And I like to just nicely do this when we're training. Give him a little pillow so you can look at us while we tap. Or if we're in a competition, I'm just gonna bring it across the face, shin across the neck for the tap. This will almost always incite a reaction as well. So again, just to flow through it, right? We got to our position here. I'm gonna pull him, making him you want to incite a reaction. Without this, it's very rare that they're going to cause a reaction. There's no reason for them to move away. I'm going to push the elbow down, connect here, and I make my switch, and then I can come around the head, right? He's tap right here. We can extend. We can tap right here. And then the last one that, you know, happens is they're going to curl their elbow down here, trying to protect that armbar. So we went through a full motion of submission, a half circle of submission, if you will. Okay, there's options. If they curl heavy here, we can just bring them to our side here and go through our basic spinning armbar where I push the head and I can rotate here, finishing with our armbar, of course, connecting at the leg. Um, and there's also a Kimura. The Kimura I like to use for a bunch of entrances from that position, right? So I've gotten to this position here, extended, and he starts to curl. One big detail for me with the Kimura, 
I don't like to keep everything tight because he'll be able to reach his hands together and lock up, which makes it very hard to finish the Kimura. So from this moment, go back for me right here. From here, when I feel him starting to curl, I'm gonna keep my elbow high, trying to separate it from his body here, okay? And a lot of times it'll incite him wanting to move his hips towards his hands in order to connect, right? But that's what we want, so as soon as I get to here, and he starts to curl, I'll keep my elbow high, and I'm gonna do what I call the genie position, okay? I'm gonna move my, un my opposite hand, the one that's on the head, underneath, and I'm gonna connect my right hand to his wrist here, okay? From here, we've got the Kimura position. Our main goal is don't let him connect towards the middle line here. I'm gonna keep it away from him for this, for this one. I'm gonna switch my hips here, okay? Across his body, I'm gonna start to lean back as I push for the tap. If you don't like that old school finish, there's a lot of options as far as rolling, getting on top or anything like that. But for me, it's nice to start here. I just switch my hips trying to stay high, my hips towards his shoulders, my head towards his hips, as I again paint the ground with his paintbrush, which is the hand for the tap here. Boom. So that's it from side control. I hope it's helpful. If there's any questions or anything along those lines, feel free to message me, comment, all that. Please like and subscribe. I love you guys. Woss.